Hello everybody, it's Michael with Terry Hendricks, Archbold, Ohio. Just wanted to give you a quick rundown how-to video on how to program your three-button garage door opener. You probably have a, a, a one, two, or three-button garage door opener if you have one at all. Um, if you've purchased a used vehicle or a new one with us uh, or anywhere else in the world, wanted to show you a quick rundown on how to be able to program these. So. Uh, first things first, I'm going to go through on how to be able to clear any previous programmed garage door openers off of there. Uh, step number two will be simply programming. And then step number three, in this particular case, um, I'm going to show you uh, through that second step what happens when it fails to program. There is a small percentage of them out there that will not program, whether it be in an older garage door opener or one that's not universally recognized by the FCA uh, visor uh, adapter here for your garage door opener um, and you'll get to see exactly what to expect from there so first things first there is a little house <clears throat> just above the number two button you probably can't see it very well on this video and it is us upside down because I'm flipping it down here but uh, you'll see the little house has a little light in the center and in order to clear off any previous programmed uh, garage door openers on there you want to press the number one and the number three button at the same time and hold them for 10 seconds the light comes on and it will stay solid until it blinks rapidly after 10 seconds just like that to show when this piece is cleared off of any prior programmed fobs so uh, in order to program at that point uh, you've got your garage door opener in this case my manager has an older garage door opener uh, that is Chamberlain um, this one does not program on here because of its age but I'm going to show you how to try and program it anyway, and then you'll see what happens when it doesn't. So <clears throat> this is being number one button, this being their number one button here, uh, just because, well, he's got a lot more scratches and, and uh, uh, wear on this one, so I'm assuming that's the one he was using. But you press them at the exact same time, holding this fob as close to it as possible. So press and hold, and it will blink slowly for three seconds. And then rapidly like that when it's programmed however when it fails to program it will still keep blinking for a total of five extra seconds so when you're having any issues with that you'll know that your fob is not able to be programmed either because it's got a rolling code to it which tends to throw that off a little bit or it's just too old but most like liftmaster uh, ones are universal those do tend to program pretty easily it's a pretty it's a pretty straightforward process so if you want to continue programming additional buttons, say if you've got three garage doors and you want to program all three of those, just go through the exact same process for each one. It'll, again, blink slowly for three seconds and when you're holding both of them, and then it will blink rapidly for about one or two more seconds, and then it'll turn off. That is when you know that it's successfully programmed. Other than that, that's a pretty straightforward process. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check us out on YouTube. Feel free to subscribe uh, if you like our how-to videos or any of the vehicle walk-arounds that we do. Um, we tend to do quite a few of them. So keep an eye out if you're in the market for a vehicle. Again, subscribe or you can reach out to us at 419-445-2576. Again, this is Michael at Terry Hendricks. Thanks again, guys.